Namaste, bitches. That's what the cup says. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directory. It's up, Corbin. I'm Zab 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 Follow us on Instagram. Zab Zab Twitter. Zab 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 And uh, today, uh, we are watching a new trailer. We are. That no one yelled at us for. Oh, okay. Did, did you get yelled at it? Nope. No? What are you doing? I'm just looking at different things here. Oh, I don't Where's... mean to interrupt you yeah, when you're no, scrolling. Is... <laughs> no, I was looking for somebody on Instagram. It's related to you having the cup that says Namaste, bitches. Anyways, anyway, a new trailer dropped she? just a few days ago. Uh, I think it was two days ago, but it's uh, the Kashmiri Files. Uh, I'm sure people have messaged you about not it. One person, not one person. I've heard nothing about this. Not one message. Anyways, but yeah, the uh, it's been bombarded uh, with requests. But the reason we hadn't got to it is because it wasn't subbed uh, when it first dropped. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I think I, I found it. What? What is it? I hope it's worth it. No, just it's not. <laughs> no, I wanted to. Um, her. Mm hmm. Yeah. Her. What about her? She says. She says Namaste. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That was not worth it. <laughs> Anyways, this is a new trailer, the uh, Hindi trailer. It's called The Cashmere Files. Right. Uh, um, is it? Um, I've been trying to avoid any information other than the fact that I can't help but read because I've gotten so many messages that yeah. this is about it. This is true. Yeah. Okay. It's about the true, the true event that happened. The Cashmere Files is an upcoming Indian Hindi language film written and directed by Vivek Agahotri, starring Darshan Kumar, Mithun Chakraborty, and Anupam. K oh, cool, yeah. Kerr. The film tells the story of the exodus of Kashmiri Hindus in the early 1990s due to Kashmir insurgency. Yep. The director won the national award for his previous movie, The Tashkent Files. Heard I remember that, that. yes. Yeah. You've seen Darshan in NH10, the main villain. All the other actors are legendary, obviously. Um, yeah, and I'm it, sure... That's different. Okay. Uh, that's a different one, but yeah. So it was subbed by our subbers. Thank you so much, subbers, Thank for you, actually subbers. getting this to us. Um, because that's why we hadn't gotten to it yet. Um, I, obviously, we don't know. A ton about the cash. I mean, I, we know we know some know about the Kashmir event, but it's not like we're experts or <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Nope. Um, so here we and go. And I'm I am a, I'm imagining in advance. I can't imagine anyone's going to have strong opinions about this. Nope. None at all. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, we definitely know him. Right? Kashmir has never been an integral part of India and this is a historical fact. देश की तकदीर वही बदल सकता है जिसके पास ये पावर है। 
पॉलिटिकल पावर पॉलिटिक्स का बस एक ही विराज बॉस के डर से मैं भी कायर बन पर फटा था तुम पर नहीं पद्मश्री मुझे ऐसे ही नहीं मिला ना पद्मश्री आपको सरकार ने खामोश रहने के लिए दिया आजादी इज ए सॉन्ग ऑफ टेरिज्म इट्स एन एंथम ऑफ फ्री कश्मीर साकी ने जंग में मना फिर दिया तो मासूम लड़कों को गाड़ी से बात करके घसीटा जाएगा उन पर रेप चार्जेस लगाए जाएंगे एक सफाई में लोग गंजी उठाएंगे सर कश्मीरी पंडितों ने तो कभी कोई बदूम नहीं उठाई And we'll never allow Kashmir to be an integral part of this country. चाहे उसके लिए आप क्यों न लगानी पड़े? This is the time for justice, Krishna. कश्मीरी पंडितों को वापस अपने घर कश्मीर जाने का मौका मिलेगा इस दिस जस्टिस like it's going to be an extremely intense uh not pulling punches kind of kind of watch um it, it feels schindler's list heavy yes i mean and once again if there's any information that is not true in this do not blame us we are just reacting to it don't <laughs> shoot the messenger i know please. you guys have that that cashmere is obviously a very touchy subject i'm just talking about the trailer itself and it looks really really good and it looks really really intense all the acting looks like it's going to be incredible work i agree at least in my opinion i agree it yeah. looks it looks important it looks powerful um i would encourage everybody to not judge a book by its cover i remember many times films that have been released here in the united states that had controversial subject matter and the way that the story was told and from whose perspective it was told yeah and a lot of people um but the first one that comes to mind that was really a big one and i've mentioned this before is when uh people took exception and people particularly the catholic church and catholics in america around the world took exception to martin scorsese's film uh the last temptation of christ mm, yeah. which play had willem defoe as jesus mm -hmm. and what they took exception to was some liberties that scorsese took artistically where he's saying some things about jesus's life that are not portrayed either in the 66 protestant books or the apocryphal books mm. that are in the catholic bible yeah. or in any archaeological evidences there's a lot of artistic license that he took yeah but they were saying they didn't like it before they saw it Yep. Yeah. Yeah, same thing happened with Da Vinci Code. Yep. Same thing happened with The Passion of the Christ. Um and I know that this is a I mean when you talk about this part of the world and when you talk about the tensions between Hindus and Muslims, it's never going to be a peaceful conversation unfortunately. But if this is about that that event one that would once again kind yeah. of sky is similar to the um the how awful of the of the an atrocity was of the the one in Sardaudam yeah it was just i don't know if it's similar to that event but i'm assuming it was and i think it was one oh, of those type yeah, of events is. right it is um and so uh it it looks like an an important story um and it looks like it's a well done uh, anupam kur looks amazing it looks and incredible. so does Dar yeah, darshan uh, kumar darshan who we've seen in yeah, a couple of everybody things. everybody about this from an artistic standpoint um looks incredible and my my just my admonition for folks would be if you're it's it's one thing to appreciate the power of storytelling in film to be an educational source for things in history that are important for us to know about and to remember it's another thing to give too much power to cinema and unfortunately it happens where people don't do their own research and they just accept a 2 hour film as the 
carte blanche tell all of what took place. Yeah. Um, I would definitely never do that with a film, and I I feel like it's a shame that a, a, a stories that are this incredibly important for a lot of reasons, geopolitically, above all humanitarily, that the the real message that needs to be conveyed in the artistry about those things yeah. could be lost with the other surrounding um it's i just don't have a good feeling about this film and no. the way people will respond to yeah. it um but hope i mean it just by the look of it it looks like a, a really well-made film with this director really Vivique, well made um i remember people saying we never got to see it yet but the Tars tarshkent files i remember people praising that praising film, that saying it was a really really like, well done film i can tell you from this trailer i want to see this yeah I'm absolutely in. yep um and so uh Hopefully it's as good as it looks. Did yeah, it say when like, it released? Date and, and, oh, and, uh, March 11th. March 11th. Okay. Yeah, and like there's times where I say I'm in, and it's like, okay, I'm in. I like put my foot in the water, or I'm like in the shallow end. On the trailer alone for that, I, I'm I, I'm fully diving into the deep end wanting to see this. For the for the I, what I know about at least his reputation with the Tarshkin Files and the the a lot of the actors involved, I would be in just based off that. But the fact that it looks like a, an important story and the fact that it looks like it's going to be intense yeah. and done in a way that is going to make you uncomfortable. Um, as which, the, which telling in a certain event should. Should. And if you're going to do justice to a, a horrific event, yeah. obviously a Holocaust film should make you feel very uncomfortable because yeah. of how awful it was. Yeah, and it's interesting because I know that there will be people who, for whatever reason, and I have no idea about the context of the film and who would be upset with it or not upset with it. But do you remember when Clint Eastwood did the two films about World War II? Mm -hmm. He did Flags of Our Fathers and, then the, and the Iwo Jima film. I love that concept. And it was, it was the exact same historical event, and he told it from the perspective of the Americans, and then he told it from the perspective of the Japanese. I love that. Who, but was, there, were, was, you, I, there had to have been some people pissed off that he took the perspective of the it Japanese. Eastwood, right? It was Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. And he did them both. He did one after the other, back to back, and they kind of they they go together. You need to watch Flags of Our Fathers and then the the yeah. uh, Tale of Iwo Jima or Flags of Iwo Jima. I, I never saw either of those. No, really. No, I didn't. Oh, they're incredibly um, well done. The 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 thing I would struggle with with those is if it was Eastwood directing both. Mm -hmm. I I'd want to know who his team was that, that to put together the Japanese side of things. The, the Japanese yeah, so, well, part of it. I can tell you, yeah. the Japanese side. Is one hundred percent from yeah. you would think he had a team of people that were telling I would the hope Japanese he would. perspective. I would hope he would. Yep. If like I was doing a film like that, I would want a team of like historians from the Japanese side. It, or... It's a great thing to watch because what it does, especially from an American standpoint, it lets you see the story if you're willing to look at it from the eyes of the Japanese. Mm -hmm. Which, as actors, we've talked about that consistently. One of the things that we do as actors, it's a trait you need to have as a human being, is to be willing to look at things without judgment from the other perspective. And you, I mean, if, if I'm going to portray a, a serial rapist, I promise you I'm not ever going to agree with what they did. Mm -hmm. But I, at the very least, I'm going to try to understand what it is that makes that person do what they do so that you can be aware of those things and stop those things from happening again yeah. and portray it realistically and not judgmentally. And so that's... My hope is that when this all goes through, that, that, that the artistry is celebrated for the artistry and that the truth of the historical events are communicated. And it did I guess kind of time It did kind of remind me a little bit of, um, not the film as a whole, but I guess the subject man, the way he did it, uh, Heder and Vishal, what he did with it. Obviously, sure. I know he was kind of, in a way, portraying uh, certain well, he events was. in Kashmir. And I know, was. obviously, in that speech that he was doing... Um, that I learned that if you haven't seen that, please go watch it. I know the Azadeh is, is in, ingrained in my brain of that, that word yeah. specifically, but I'm talking to like how he portrayed it and the, the violence that, that kind of happened there. Um, the, even though the, I know the film's not really about that, it just no, the well, way it was shot reminded me a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, it shot. is because he did take, because if you know the story of Hamlet, you understand the underlying story of what's going on with the tensions of war between two countries and how he put that within the Kashmiri experience. Mm -hmm. And the difference being someone would have to come in with an extremely high level of understanding of Hamlet and Bo and Kashmir yeah. to comprehend what it was he was conveying. This is much more face value. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, let us know. 
Once again, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, please, uh, let us know what you thought about the trailer, what you think about the f upcoming film, if you're excited about it, uh, and all this kind of stuff. And Tarshkin Files, is that one that should be uh, yeah, worth should a we watch? watch that? We heard, I remember uh, hearing so much about that. I remember that. hearing just rave reviews about it, but uh, let us know down below.